So that's the firmware updated on the Luba 2, but you can also update the firmware on the RTK station. So as I mentioned earlier, you can now connect your RTK station to Wi-Fi, which helps with extending the range to five kilometers in conjunction with the, the 4G SIM card. But you can also update the firmware using the app over the Wi-Fi once you've connected your RTK station to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So I'm gonna just share my, uh, sorry, record my screen so that I can show you how to do that. So basically what you need to do is where you added your Luba to the app, you can also add the RTK station to the app. So on the main screen where you see your Luba 2, if you click the little arrow to the right and you click add robot, you will see Luba 1, Luba 2 and RTK listed there. So naturally we want to add the RTK. So I'm going to click on that, I'm going to click start and it's now trying to connect to this RTK over the Bluetooth and you can see there that it's found it. Now it's going to try to connect that to the Wi-Fi. So it's asking for my Wi-Fi password. So I'm just going to enter that. Okay, so binding successful. So the RTK is now connected to the Wi-Fi. So what I want to do is I want to get the firmware updated now on the RTK because there's a couple of features that I really want. And one of them is to turn this light off at night so we can see it from the house. Naturally, I could have just turned it round, but it'd be nice just to be able to turn this light off uh, at night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick over to my RTK station. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to device information and I'm going to try to find where you update. So I've got this upgrade button here, so I'm going to click the upgrade. So you can see there that it's now saying the RTK, um, there's an update, a new update 1.1.2.632. So I'm hoping that's then going to give me the option to turn this little light off. But you should have the firmware updated anyway of your robot mower and also your RTK station. And this is a really easy way to do this over the Wi-Fi. So if you had your RTK station up on a roof somewhere at a high place, uh, you don't really want to be going up there plugging in a cable. So this is really, really useful on this Luba 2 RTK. So it says here, one click upgrade. So I'm going to do that. And there we go. So it's going from version one up to this later version. Okay, so that's done. That's our RTK now updated to the latest firmware. We've got our Luba 2 upgraded to the latest firmware and we've got the latest version of the app on the phone. So we're, we're now ready to go. So